you get home at the end of the day from a long day work interactions with your children your family whatever is whatever you've been dealing with at the end of the day you want to relax so you take your shoes off and you put your feet up and you just relax but what do you have to do to do that pay attention to it what I would like you to do pay attention in what do you do to relax how much effort does it require you to relax is relaxing a phenomena that doesn't does require energy or it's a natural phenomena that happens on its own accord let's take a look at it what do you do what do you have to do to relax you're really tired you get home it's the end of the day you had a long day you take your shoes off you put your comfortable jammies on you go lie down on your bed or the sofa you turn on the a, a movie or music or something you want to hear or watch and you pour yourself a glass of wine or juice or whatever and you're chilling out and and you're relaxing what do you have to do to relax is that an effort or it's a natural state that happens you're really tired you don't want to sleep you want to lie down on the couch and just relax you may not even want to read anything or listen to anything you just want to be quiet by yourself so you kick back you relax maybe you have your pet your cat dog on your on your chest and you're rubbing him but you just want to relax you don't want to do anything what do you have to do to do that it's pretty much zero energy because you naturally fall into that place everybody does that every single human being at the end of the day no matter how energetic they are no matter how much you have accomplished no matter how much they're involved with the world affairs because it's very important the world to them at the end of the day at the final stage they just relaxing they have to they must do otherwise it's impossible to stay alive if you don't fall back into your natural state into the reservoir of energy you have to fall back into natural state and your natural state is not engaged with anything it's not involved with anything but you're missing that it's overruled we don't pay attention to it we don't consider it of value because you're not in Hawaii you're not somewhere else because you're no one told you this has spiritual value to it because it's your natural state you always have it it's always there but you don't realize in this place that you fall back into and you disconnect and you tap into the vastness of the being now if you have worked on yourself and learn to self awaken and master your mind when the awareness comes and you start doing the work 
then that work is going to help you to recognize this natural state and implement the natural state more often recognizing it that those are the moments that you are in complete oneness with everything. And you're in this place. And finally the mind slows down or goes away. And what's there in the absence of the thinking mind? It's just silent. Then a lot of times we fall asleep, we wake up the next day, the mind is all refreshed, it's ready to go. What do you do? You start listening to the world's news, and then what happens? Everything comes back. Those few people on this planet of Earth who freed themselves from this cycle, they finally got freed from the cycle of suffering while they were living. They came to feel full realization, self-realization and freedom. They mastered their own mind. They came to the mastery of the mind. And the mastery of the mind wasn't by positive thinking or positive visualization. That's not how they mastered it. They learn how to separate themselves, to separating themselves from that which comes and goes. It was a recognition of that which doesn't change, recognizing that within themselves. And the attention went into that direction, recognizing that part. And recognizing that that's the only real thing. Hence, anything else that comes and goes is not real. Realizing that the mind, the thoughts, do not exist. They're not real. 